Hello everybody, welcome back to Yanis Cakes and thanks so much for having me again. I have done, as you know, quite a few technical videos using the Yanis Way sliced fondant pattern method. As always happened in the cake decorating business, one door opens to a room and this room has another door opens to another room. So just like a mother techniques and then uh, children techniques. So this time I would like to show you another method towards the same direction which is the, still the panel coating, but taking the different pathway. So these are my inspiration today, and then the result will be something like that. So what is this difference in that uh, pathway I'm talking about? So I still have to choose a pattern that which has got the possibilities to use this method, all right? And I still have to roll the fondant in between two silicone sheets and to make it thinner and thinner, all right? And I still have to identify individual parts of the, uh, the pattern and then produce longer pieces and slice them and then set on the in between two plastic sheet, two silicone sheet. But the only difference is I separate the background and pattern into two different steps and I roll the, the background and I roll the pattern separately and join together again before I lift up and put it around the cake. So when you see over here, I feel that there's a kind of like a embossed kind of uh, texture over here. And, and it's look like, like somebody was gonna cut the flowers and put it individually around the, around the cake, but it's not. So everything done on the table, flat platform, lift up and put around, it gives that beautiful effect like a little bit of embossed like this. So what do we have over here? First of all, I'm gonna clean this one up and I make this dummy cake available for our steps over here to teach you. And I have here two cellophane sheets, 70 by 30 centimeter, again, the same size. And I have pink, white, yellow, and a little dot of red. I'm gonna do this one mixing together for the center. And I have a dot of uh, gel color, black, and I will use some water to make it a little bit grayish. And we're gonna create that very fine black lines around the fondant. And then I have also, Oil spray, as usual, and then water spray, and then my famous uh, PVC pipe to roll, and then my towel is here, my chopping board, personalized chopping board, and my knife, and then my blade. So I clean this cake first, and then we start the action. So when I look at this pattern, uh, I see first segment is the one petal, just one single petal. As you see over here, one, two, three, four different sizes. I'm just gonna make only two to make it a bit more simpler. So I'm gonna produce this as a long piece and then slice it. But outside the, the petal, there's a very thin black line. I'm gonna do that with a, a black gel color. Mix it a bit of water and then just paint on it, sort of paint thin, and after that let it dry, touchable dry, and after that I will slice later on. And the second segment is the center here. All right, that's it, just one. Uh, the first one is in two sizes, and then the one single uh, center one uh, is also with two sizes, but I'm gonna put it from one single one because I'm just gonna roll it a bit further down to smaller size. And then background will be flat and one piece rolling anyway. Just the white fondant. Always we have to give a little bit more neat before we start working with that. So just do this. I want to have a sort of individual pieces about this size. And then because I'm going to use the color, I'm going to use the cutboard because cutboard is, doesn't really uh, stick the color on top. It just something like this will be quite uh, difficult to dry the color. So that's why uh, I would like to use this one. Sure. Single pieces like this. And maybe just a couple of small ones. This is more than enough. All right. So. Maybe just, this is already enough, yeah. All right, take it. Otherwise you get jealous. All right, just do this. This size. All right, after that you push. See that? This side is thicker, this side is thinner. That's it. Simple as that. That's my segment. One more. Then I will continue myself. You don't have to watch me doing the same thing for a long time. Okay, this much. Okay. 
I'm not giving you any measurements for this because it is all about just deciding and looking something and deciding. So you have to write like uh, you know you have to just get used to the the estimations that which is works well, right? Otherwise, like uh, you can't make mathematics without the calculator. So you have to just decide, looking and deciding how big is that, what's the portion of it, etc. You know. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, let's put one side a bit of uh, color, water here, and touch to that black part, the gel color, and make it a little bit more sort of like grayish, right? And keep it very dry, okay? Just go for it, and then put on top like this. And then make sure that the last bit just touch the other side, okay? Just stay dry, not so wet, okay? So I was just pinching one side here and holding in the place and then carry on with that. So one side is ready. Uh, as soon as that is become touch dry, I'm going to turn around, do the other side exactly the same. Let's do the second segment, which is the center of the flower. So as you see, this is orange color, not yellow. I'm going to add this red into that, but I'm going to just leave it a little bit unmixed. So that's why I like to mix red and yellow a little bit first. All right. Make it a bit of like darker orange. All right. And after that, what I like to do, I want to make this one nice and soft. I'm going to pull this, I'm going to pull this uh, fondant nice and soft, and this one also soft. All right. Put it together. Okay, and then start pulling. So, why doing that? As you see that I'm having a kind of like a, a a kind of sausage, but when I cut it, I will have dots inside, or just like a, a kind of regular, just like this daisy center. Okay, you can pull this like this, or you can also roll it like this. You, know, you can roll it like that, and this will be much more practical. Okay, fold it like this, and then go around. Let's see what's inside look like. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. A little bit sort of like a, not so mixed completely, not a flat color. All right. I think we will have about this size and then maybe something a little bit smaller, just for a couple, not much. All right, this much. That's done. All right. This is still not dry yet. I'm, what I'm going to do? I'm going to roll the pink one. And get ready for that uh, because we're going to keep it inside the inside the cellophane sheet anyway. You can leave it as long as you wish. So I'm going to do that next. So start with that round one. The top round one. Just roll a little bit. We'll have a kick start. After that, put a bit of oil here. A bit of fire. Put it down. Right, and start rolling. Right. That's it. With this method. Uh, keeping the fondant in between two cellophane sheets, it is can be used for many many other purposes. Let's say let's say you're rolling something and cutting pieces, all right? 
and then you just don't want to roll again and again and again. You can just prepare this and put it in between cellophane sheets and then it's ready for that particular work that you want to do and you can just keep on doing it even you can continue tomorrow, it doesn't matter. All right? So this is done, I'm going to put this on the side and then I'm going to roll now, big one, for that uh, outside tech cake. We want to end up something rectangular shape, so I have to start with a sausage shape. It will be completely wrong if you have something round and I start rolling and try to get a rectangular. There's no way. So you have to get it like this. This is already rectangular when you look at it from top view. Then you can start rolling and then the halfway through already, you are the, uh, ready to, to, to just go forward and then keep the rectangular shape uh, intact. No? We're looking for a little bit bigger than 20 centimeter and a little bit longer than 52 centimeter. So, I think it's time to put in between plastic sheet. Right, put it here. Okay. Open this up. A little bit of oil. And put this in the middle. All right. And you can already start rolling like this first. Sometimes you have to just remove and put it back again. Just give it a little bit of relaxation so you can roll further. More than 20, yes. More than 52, yes. So put this on the side. And now we see what's happening here. That is already, I think, touch dry. Yes, it is. I can turn around and then paint the other side. Here it is. It's everything already uh, colored. It's still not 100% dry, but I can touch it. So there's not a problem at all. So I already tried. This, the, all the uh, segments are pretty nice. So I'm going to start from this one now. I like to place a couple of uh, daisies over here, but not on top here on a separate sheet. So that's why I like to put this separate sheet over here, just like this, and then set up my flowers inside here, and then separately I'm gonna roll it down and place it on top again. So, uh, this is what I want. One piece of uh, one daisy here. Maybe another one here. And then one small one. One small one, yeah, All right. Put this on the side. And then I like to start now uh, slicing all those petals. The result is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just cutting them about three millimeters. All right, let's go. So, it's a little bit sticky, but it's all right. We can manage. Like this. Like this. Stay nice in order. Don't rush because this fondant doesn't dry so quickly as I said. So you can take your time and then do the good job.
Bueno, bueno. I think I like to keep it a little bit more loose because it's going to be open up into like a nice relaxed sort of petals together. All right. Okay. Almost there. One and two. That's it. All right. That's already good. Make some space. So. I'll take this one, only that top part, all right, put it over here, put a little bit of oil on top again, place the second one on top, all right, and then push. See what happened, and then just go like this, beautiful. There. I like to keep this on the side. I'm not going to do anything yet. Right. Later on, I'll do it. Now, next thing is, I like to create uh, one petal over here. And start from the center, go around like this, go again like this, and then come back in the center again. So when I, when I wrap together, the end bits will join together in the same place that will be, uh, we try to just get rid of this, this joint part, not so visible. All right. So um, we're talking about 52 centimeters, right? As we said before. So I like to place my marker pen here. That's the area that I like to actually put a little bit more back here like this. Somewhere around here, All right? Okay. Somewhere around here, all right? Okay, now, one of this shape goes on top. And then, a bit of oil. Then we go back to the same thing. Start cutting the big ones, big centers. One here, in the center, one here, it has to be like not so, not so uh, in a line, sort of like still irregular, okay, open up a little bit, sort of like, let's go up like that, and down, and then like that. I think this should be good. Right. And now we're going to make the little ones later on. So I'm going to start now arranging together. All right. Take your time. Make it nice and clean cuts. And then as equal as possible the thickness. start. One. I give it a little bit distance in between so when I press it down it will the petals will be touch each other and look much more realistic. If I make it too too squished together it will not going to be realistic okay or it's not going to be nice anyway. So each, each uh, daisy about this size, you need about uh, seven centimeter long piece to slice. And how many slices? Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, about 15 slices each, 15 petals each. Well, uh, what I said is maybe a bit not correct because I said seven centimeter. Uh, if you have a 15 petals, each petal is about three uh, millimeter. 
will be about four and a half, so about I think five, six centimeters. Maybe some of them maybe cut a bit thicker, doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter, right? Okay, then uh, I would like to uh, show you some small ones also in between. Uh, not everywhere. I like to keep it like uh, nice and relaxed, not too much. Maybe about another six of the small ones. I like to put one here and uh, maybe one here and one there. Very small. And then this like this, like that. And then and I like to keep this open in between. And maybe just run one here. All right? This one there. Now we have to be very careful to lift up this. And then put in front of me here. We cannot push this on top of the, the funnel. It has to come on the clean area, on the on the hard surface of the table. So very carefully lift up without moving things around. All right. Put this over here. That's great. All right. And then put a bit of clay. Okay. Put this on. And push. I'm just doing that because I want to secure the location so things that doesn't go around. Okay? Look at that. I like to keep it like nice and uh, a bit, a bit sort of not so thin. I like to see that embossed texture on the cake. So that's already nice. Okay. Turn around. Ah, this side is nicer. I like to use this side. This side is much nicer. Okay. Remove that. Remove that part. Okay, and after that, put a bit of foil here, and because we like this side, right, turn upside down, and remove this also, very carefully, carefully, I said carefully, I wasn't careful enough, okay, carefully, carefully, hello, Because of the paint not very really dry, that's why it's sticking some of them. But I always win at the end. So that is already done. And I'm just going to turn around this one here and I'll put it on top of here. All right, should be good. Okay, now I push a little bit more just to stick everything in the right place. All right. Okay, we are done here, and then after that I take this, also take this one, which side better, this side better, or this side, I think this side is better, so I just remove that one also here, and then upside down, put a bit of oil also again, there's some moisture inside the oil, water, it will stick together, no problem though, put it on. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this one like this and I put again the large one because I like to lift up this and put on the cake. Right. Well, let's go. Put the cake here, turn upside down, remove this. Uh, where's my water here? Put a bit of water here and after that take this one. Place it on here so that the flower stays in the center. Okay. Okay, this one gone.
this is quite pretty, like very nice and neat. All right. We don't even need to have a green leaves around. So, okay. So put this on the side here and take this one here. I like to I like to cut my straight line first. All right. So I like to do this straight line over here. 20 centimeters. If I do that, I was I must cut about somewhere around here. Alright, good. This is my favorite side, so I make sure I don't do a mistake over here. So I just cut a straight line. No. No. What happened to my eyes? Is it straight? No. A little bit more. All right, now the same plastic. Come back again with the straight side in here. So the straight side in here. All right. Okay. Turn upside down. Remove this one. Then I like to have uh, some water this time here. That is too wet. Get rid of this stuff. I lost too much, too much in my way. Just want to have a little more shorter to handle, not too long. And this one also a little bit more shorter, yeah. Actually, I want to cut this one here, like this, All right? And see what happened on the other side. Come on. That's here. Hmm, that is not bad, but there is a bit of joining problem here. What I like to do, I'm going to cut this one exactly from the side here, somewhere around here. Not so straight. Okay, this one here, remove this. And take this out from the other side and put it back again. That's a little bit of visible here, but not really too much problem. Okay, put it back again here. Put it back. Nicely. Beautiful. It 
So it's exactly what I'm looking for, like the flowers slightly embossed. Yeah? That will be look very nice. Okay, I need my scissor now. Just start from one inch carefully and then put the scissor on the cake, just resting this on the cake, this part, and then continue the cutting slowly. All right, don't rush. All right, it's also done. Then I like to just make it a little bit roundish on the corner here. Slightly roundish. That's it. You can play a little bit more longer to get rid of this line, but I'm going to leave it here like this. All right. So it is finished. It turns out quite nice, simple and effective, I believe. So that kind of idea is actually quite uh, profitable because it doesn't take too long time at the end and becomes like uh, something that we can you can charge a little bit more because uh, not the cheating, but the beauty has extra value. So. The benefit of this method is setting decorations on the horizontal surface instead of like individual sticking on the side, it's not going to be that clean, all right? And visualizing everything on the surface and then after that everything is all in one finish. So it works for me. I hope that also works for you and then makes some sense for you. Don't forget to check yenesv.com. Uh, there is more to learn over there. Please like, share and subscribe to stay tuned with us. Uh, I'm looking forward for the next one uh, to be with you and God bless you all. Until next tutorial, bye for now.